Luna is coming out right now and she needs to mind her business. She only wants to be around me when I have food. <laughs> you guys, I'm babysitting this cat right now. And she is so scared of my dog, you guys. And I have a really small dash hum. He's a puppy. He's like really tiny, but he is just so playful and he will kind of like force you to play with him to cuddle with him and she's not liking that at all she's not liking that at all so she's been hiding from him and i'm so sad because she's so cute and she has those moments where she caves in and lets me rub her belly but then she just runs away from me she's supposed to be here for like 12 days and this is i think the third actually i think it's the fifth day yeah it's the fifth day but she has been not like trying to be around us at all aka me and my boyfriend and our dog so i try really hard to play with her but yeah it seems like she only comes around me when i have food so i don't know if she's gonna eventually warm up to me like i keep trying to play with her give her treats and like i said she'll have her moments where she cracks and is loving for a second but then just runs away from me so i got a burrito it looks very tiny like i think this is like the tiniest burrito i've ever seen do you see this interesting mm. They made it so good. Brown rice, chicken, pico de gallo, lettuce, sour cream, cheese, queso. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This, after a long day, I also got chips and guacamole. I was gonna get their queso, but sometimes that makes my stomach hurt. Mm. I spilled my food all over me, <laughs> but we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep rolling. I'm hungry. How are you guys doing? How was your how's your holiday so far? I know New Year's is coming up. I had a really good Christmas. If you guys don't know, my birthday is on Christmas or was on Christmas. So on the count of three, we're gonna say one, two, three. Happy birthday, Gina. Yes. <laughs> now me acting like I'm literally on a TV show. Dad. My birthday came so fast this year you guys like i honestly time has been moving so fast for me 
and I was not prepared. <laughs> honestly, I honestly I feel like I wanted to celebrate my birthday this year, but I also couldn't bring myself to celebrate because I am grieving. I definitely let my mental health get the best of me and totally canceled everything I plan on doing. My boyfriend still managed to make a special for me though. Sorry guys, my cat is eating. Not my cat, but the cat I'm babysitting. She's like, she's like mine now. I love her. No, I'm just joking. Uh, Next year will be the year where I take myself out of the country for my birthday because I, to be fair to myself, I did go through a lot in this year, so I kind of just was not in the mood to celebrate. So. I was just trying to be fair to myself as well like I'm not gonna celebrate if I'm not in the mood so next year I'm promising myself that I'm gonna go all out I just like you guys i started this job and then i really 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 loved this job you guys i was so happy going to it every day but then things happen and i ended up quitting so it's like i'm just never satisfied and i'm totally just lost and confused in life thank goodness my boyfriend takes care of me so I can just pretty much focus on school, but I also feel like very confused in life. And I just turned 27 and I was like looking at the ceiling and just thinking to myself, like I am not where I want to be in life just yet. And it was kind of a lot to process for me mentally, but I also realized there's things in my life that I should be happy for and there's a lot of things in my life that I seriously pray for and have worked so hard on so I have to admire myself for that and I just took the day to myself just to hang out with my boyfriend on my birthday surrounding myself with loved ones my friend plan my friend planned dinner with me so just surrounding myself with loved ones was good for me that night even though i totally had such high plans to do to go all out for my birthday and it didn't go through because of how i was feeling so yeah i don't know if you guys watch um this YouTuber, her name is Bricia Dawes, and I just love, love her content. I've been watching her for years, okay? Years, and I love her content so much. I found myself relating to her so much if you watch her lives like she does really inspiring lives like, where she just sits down and talks to like all of her supporters about her life and just navigating life on her own chasing her dreams and not settling for less i 
I love her videos, you guys. And I kind of just feel like I'm also at that similar point in my life where I'm turned 27 and I accomplished a lot in my professional and academic life, but I'm not necessarily satisfied. So it's like, is this the right path? Is there another path for me? And how can I balance both? How can I juggle both if one is not really making me happy? I don't know. That's how I'm feeling. It's really hard in your 20 somethings. <laughs> Look at this cutie pie. Hello, girl. What, you want some of my burrito? Is that why you're licking your lips? <laughs> there she goes, running away from me. Why do you hate me, Luna? Dude. Look at her. Luna. Isn't she so pretty, guys? Like. Yes, I'm gonna put on lip gloss to wear my chips and guac. You guys, oh my gosh. I need to ask you something. I am like debating on getting lip filler or not. <coughs> of course, I would vlog the whole thing. I didn't vlog my BBL just because again it happened so fast and I was in a lot a lot I was in a lot of pain I just was not mm -mm. not in the mood to pick up a camera and if I get my lips done I'm recording the whole thing Solely because I want you guys to tell me if it looks bad because because sometimes I want lip filler and then I see it in person and it's like very noticeable. Like you always kind of tell when somebody has their lips done. Nicki Minaj said don't mess with your face, so The chips and guac was so addicting. 
I saw him. Sometimes when I go to these jobs that I work at, sometimes I feel like I'm overqualified. Like, just I feel like I'm meant for something bigger. I feel like I'm meant for something bigger. Many ways to make money nowadays i feel like obviously nothing wrong with working a nine to five to get where you need to go but ideally i would ideally i would like youtube to be my main career So subscribe. Okay. And honestly, guys, I'm having such a, a much better day now. Eating my food, talking with you guys, just venting and rambling. Chilling with Luna. want to get a cat <laughs> even my boyfriend said that oh my god mm. i'm gonna save me the other half of this burrito for my boyfriend thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this mukbang